Hey guys, my name is Alex Frankie and I was Miss Kentucky 2019 and 2020. Brent told me faith and fitness and encouragement and I think that those are three of the most important things that we can do for each other in a community of believers. Hey everybody, it's John Reap here. Something that's very dedicated. That's my brother. I wish I had 1% of his drive and motivation. And uh, get at it! I'm comedian John Heffern. Your body is on credit. Anything bad you did to it, your body's going to cash that in. So you know what? You're not too far along now to catch up. Welcome armed and all heart. And I found out my purpose and who I really was with Jesus. Love you guys. God bless you all. Hi, everyone. It's Tiffany Seitz, Miss Pennsylvania 2019 and 2020. And a scripture verse that really helps me, especially considering the times that we are living in right now, comes from Ephesians, and it talks about being clothed in the full armor of God. Hey, it's Tia Carrer giving a shout out to Armed and All Heart Show. And I've always followed the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. If we all treated each other the way we wanted to be treated, I think we'd be in a much better world. And now I know that it's not fitness that saved me. It's Jesus that saved me. I knew in that moment, there's nothing wrong with fitness unless you make it your God because it can't satisfy the desires of your heart. Taking care of your body can be an act of worship once you get your priorities in line. So I bless you. Grace and peace, y'all. It's the cowboy, James Storm, and you are watching the Armed and All Heart Show right here on YouTube. All I have to say is hit that little subscribe button. Check it out. Because this show helps viewers get excited about faith and fitness and just life in general. Give it a try. If you don't, sorry about your damn luck. Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy, the coach, formerly of the WWE, ESPN, and now CBS Sports and the PGA Tour. Welcome to the Armed and All Heart YouTube channel, YouTube show, where your mental, physical, and spiritual well-being is all that matters. Welcome to Armed and All Heart. I just wanna say, believe you can and you're already halfway there. That's one of my favorite quotes from President Teddy Roosevelt. So good luck and get going. What better time then to start now? <laughs>
I'm armed in all heart HQ because I originally tried to do this from my car and something happened with my camera. It was all uh, cha uh, 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 oppy. <laughs> so, TMI tag. At what age did you have your first kiss? 12. Have you ever been loved by someone you didn't love back? Now, Grey Wolf Fitness thinks, well, this is where this tag came from, Grey Wolf Fitness. Go check them out. Thinks this is a stalker, about a stalker. Have I ever had a stalker? I don't think so. Um, not that I'm aware of, but I don't think I'm that good looking to have a stalker, and I'm not that interesting to have a stalker. Have you ever dated someone you met online? Yes, I did, and it was an awful experience, and they ended up not liking me very much and cheating on me. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? No, because I hated school. I hated the teachers for the most part because I felt they belittled me because I was in special education class because they treated the special education kids a little bit different the way they spoke to them and the mainstream kids. And I just, I, bought up, I bottled up a lot of anger and hatred because of that. What is the biggest lie you ever told? that I don't care when people hate me. You're supposed to shake it off, who cares, everybody has enemies, but I have a big heart, so I can't take that. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't, but like comedian Sebastian says, Manifuco, I think that's what his, how his last name said, you don't put bumper stickers on a Ferrari. <laughs> what do you think is your sexiest feature? Well, my wife thinks every feature of mine is my sexiest feature. And by the way, yes, she's still in the mental hospital. Keep praying. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. But I'm still doing stuff to keep my mind occupied, like this tack. What is a disgusting habit you have? Well, I fart, and I own up to it. Would you ever change anything about yourself, and if so, what would it be? My weak chest. Because I like to better my bench press. What is the best compliment you have ever received? Best compliment I've ever received is that somebody said, I see Jesus Christ in you. I think that's the best compliment you can get as a Christian. Because I don't consider myself a saint. I don't consider myself the best example all the time. I, I consider myself a dirty, rotten, stinking sinner that is a big mess and messes up all the time. Still having a rough time with my, my wife being in the mental hospital. Just, you know... Just doing the best I can, you know, keep in contact with the, you know, constant contact with the caseworker or caseworkers, some of her nurses, and so they're just doing the best they can to get her back to, to uh, normalcy. Thanks for showing up and keep fighting everyone.